In this video, today I will show how to create a bridge model using OpenBridge Designer Bridge Wizard. This is the OpenBridge Designer Connect Edition interface. I already have opened a file. This is the OpenBridge Modeler in the OpenBridge Designer where I have created a file here. So to generate a bridge model using the bridge wizard, we need to come into the open bridge modeler. Under the home tab, we have the bridge setup where we have bridge wizard. We need to go into that. Then this bridge wizard windows comes up. We can provide the name here. Then in the bridge type, we can select the type of bridge. Here we can have beam slab, pre-stress or reinforced concrete girders, beam slab steel girders, cast in place concrete box, reinforced concrete slab. For this example, we, slab, we select the beam slab. We can provide the bridge start station. For this one, we provide at 0 plus 50 meter. Alignment, we need to leave at create new alignment. Here, we have few, few data we can put in there to create a new alignment. So we can put the elevation and at the start locations coordinates. We also can provide tangent direction and radius. Then we can, we have deck template. It's already selected, but also we can go into the template and we can change if we like. It's selected to slab with constraints. So we'll just leave on that. And then here is the spans. We can see we have 25, 2 at 30 and 20. That means first span 25 meter, then two spans 30 meters each, and then the last span, which is 20 meter. Support is Q angles we can provide by default is zero degree we can put is here. Beam spacing. Let's say we have four beams at 2.5 meter spacing. Also, beam is selected given from the template. Also, we can we can change as we like. So we can select from there. In this instance, we will leave as WF66G. Abutment template, we also can select and change from the template. For this instance, we'll just leave as given here. And PR template is also we can change but it is three column pier is given here so we'll leave it as the as this and there are traffic barriers left and right which is also we can change in from the template if we are happy with this we can press ok We can see that the bridge model is created using the information that we have provided in the bridge wizard. The bridge has four spans with two abutments. And we can see the two equal spans in the middle in the middle. And then we have three support lines with three peers on each support line. And we have two traffic barriers and four 
girders. This bridge model is generated based on the configuration, alignment, and profile information that we have provided in the bridge wizard. However, if we already have a predefined alignment and profile, we can attach that into this open bridge modeler. And that alignment, we can assign this assign to this bridge model that has been done using the bridge wizard and the bridge model will modify to suit by itself. I already have an alignment and profile which I have attached here, which we can display now from here. This is the alignment we want this bridge model to follow that alignment. We just need to click on the alignment icon here and then click on this alignment. So let's do it. We can see the bridge model has been changed and followed the alignment that we have just assigned. Here the bridge profile also has changed from the 30 meter that we defined previously into the bridge wizard to the profile we just have attached here. So the bridge model has been changed to the new alignment now.